Many people packed the Portland Public Schools boardroom Tuesday night, urging the district to keep class sizes smaller. That classroom doesn't magically grow in size. People held signs concerned over potential teacher cuts because of shifts after the pandemic. I keep hearing, you've got plenty of money, and I want to state, factually, we don't. We do not have plenty of money. There is an absolute shortfall this year. But ultimately, the district regrouped, preventing layoffs. <laughs> Passing a $1.89 billion budget, which includes maintaining full-time staff positions for special education. To match the need. Obviously, there's a lot of hot topics right now. And but District Superintendent Guadalupe Guerrero said some boosts to funding are only temporary. And with falling enrollment, next year's budget is already a concern. But we're going to have to sort of have a hard conversation around it's, it, it will be unavoidable uh, to, to make reductions across our employee groups uh, a year out if new revenue sources are, are not identified. The district faces many challenges out of the pandemic. How are we addressing unfinished learning? Many students are behind and need extra support. More money is being allocated to schools and students with higher needs, and middle schools will get an extra $750,000 in support. And with the deadly mass shooting at a Texas elementary school this week, PPS emphasized its safety priorities. We have updated our security systems throughout the entire district. That includes more cameras in all schools and making sure every classroom can lock, and also an emphasis on violence prevention. 17 million to provide more emotional, behavioral, mental health and wraparound supports. An investment the district hopes pays off. We know that our schools are hubs of the community. Galen Etlin, KGW News.